guys, welcome to the Elite Snore, and you've already seen the fire video uh, where Chimchar and Cinderquill reigned as number one. Uh, but today we're doing the water types, and we're going to talk about Quaxley, the new water starter from uh, Pal the Paldea region, which the game's coming out soon, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, so, like, what, 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 what do you think of Quaxley before we start talking about it? Before that, on? make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, yes, my boy, come on. Come you heard him. How many likes you want in this time? Oh, I reckon we'll slap up to 20. I reckon we can get we'll 20 keep, likes. Keep them with 20. We'll keep them with 20. Keep them with 20. We want the consistency. That's what we want. That's what we want. Come exactly. on, guys. Uh, so, Quaxley. Quaxley. I like the name. Quack. I like the name. The I'll be honest. It's a good It makes name. me think of a butler. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why. You know his, his, his inspiration? Like, you know what he's based he's off? He's a duck. Yeah, but like, he's a military duck. So, like, this is his cap, his military cap. Oh, okay. And, like, I thought it was just a really good quip. I'm not going to lie. No, no, this is it's well, it is like his hair, but like it's supposed to be look like a military cap. Got you. So his whole thing is he's going to be like some sort of I don't know, like soldier, duck. captain, duck or something. Like, I don't know, but that 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 that's his kind of like thing. I imagine they'll have some sort of weapon, a hook. <laughs> captain yeah, Duck yeah. And a hook. I mean, uh, I'd, I'd like that to be fair. Yeah, I, I'd love that. But to be fair, I think it's supposed to be more like. Uh, Spanish. Oh no, Spanish do they are there pirates and stuff back in the day. Yeah. Navies and that. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe. But um yeah. anyways, that's Quaxley. Uh, he's I say but we put a pin in him for now. Put a pin in him for now for yes. the ranking. Well said, well said. Uh any ones who stand out to you which come out right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Like any ones who you and there's right. one for me who is my worst. You tell me your worst first, because I might agree. Sobble. No, I can't get behind that. I can't get over, I don't even mind his design, I can't get over the, the, the starter Pokemon whose whole thing is that he cries. I like, think it's hilarious. I... Going to the anime, there's a, they, this might change your opinion because you haven't seen this in the anime at all, have you? No. So the Sobble, I don't know if it's that all Sobbles can do this, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I do believe that the Sobble in the anime, when he cries, everyone else around him cries. <laughs> really? So, in a sense, there's an advantage to it. He is quite funny, but it's not going to make me want to pick him. Oh, not by any means, but, but it I could bring it up a bit more. Now that you know everyone around him is going to cry if he cries, well, you could go, that's an advantage. Bro, he can cry all he likes, like, that's fine. Like, I don't care if everyone around him crying, like, he deserves it. See, my personal worst, there's two I'm stuck between. Okay. You've got Poplio. Okay. Or Oshawa. Oh, I like both of those. Oshawa especially. I'll say I like Poplio's design though. That, that's the thing. I have I've, I've no experience with Poplio other than its design and I think it's really appealing. Every time I pull a Pokemon card it's got a Poplio. I'm like, I and quite you, like that card. I think some Pokemon fans took it a bit too far with Poplio so to speak. In what sense? The same sense as they did with God of War. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. seen them time. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, we're not going to get into that. Right? <laughs> we all know what we're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, for, the older, for the older viewers. Yeah. Uh, Poplio, I mean, I can get behind him coming pretty low just because I actually. I just don't really think Sobble should be last. That is one thing I don't well, think I can agree well, on. Do you think he's quite high? Like, I wouldn't put him high. I would say he's probably yeah. bottom three, to be honest. He's and I, I'm, I, I like Sobble. I, definitely I, bottom three. I can go for Poplio if Sobble comes next. Because obviously yeah. I wanted him bottom, so I'm happy to I can do, I can I do want that. Sobble to come I, next. I'd happily have Oshawa where, or Poplio mm -hmm. in that order. Yeah. Like, as long as just Sobble's not last. Mm -hmm. I don't care who's last. Okay, so we'll go uh, Poplio, then Sobble. I think uh, that's a good compromise for both yeah. of us. Because Poplio is, again, alright, but I've never really used it. I've never actually had one either. No, I've never had one either. I've never ever played with one. But you know, a lot of my experience is based off uh, if I pull a card of this Pokemon. Like, good yeah. artworks, good really oh, slightly yeah, more can, than you would imagine. Yeah. As a non-TG, see that, yeah, yeah, that one. I don't really have that. I need to get you into that. I'm, I'm open to trying it. I'm open. To, I think I've still got all my Pokemon cards on there, to be honest. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Well... Comment if you want channel to get into Pokemon cards. <laughs> if you want them on a pack over them. Great, that's a new hobby. Yeah, it's a expensive hobby. But, um, right, next one, next one, next, next one. Next uh, one. For me, I quite like Oshawa because I just think, as a 2D designer, especially when you first saw it when you were playing black and white, oh my god, it looked awful. 
looked awful. Yeah. But when I've seen this boy animated, when I've seen him 3D. In the anime I like. I love how he's got a little shell as a tool. And like, I really like otters, so I love the idea of an otter style to Pokemon. I think it's such a good Pokemon because it's such like a cute and like adorable Pokemon. But you also know an otter can be dangerous. So I feel yeah. like it's so like such a perfect me, choice I'm of animal for a Pokemon uh, star. My thing with Oshawa, when I first saw it, I thought, what? What? It looks too much like Piplup. You think? He looks too what, much like Piplup. right next to each other. You think they look, in what way? Like, in terms of like their... Um, head shape, body. Mm, I know what you mean. Feet, like, very feet, feet are quite similar. Round head, long flippers. The hands, are, the hands are kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. In terms of physique, they are very Where similar. Where Piplup has a beak, Oshawa has a nose. Yeah. Like, I like Oshawa as a Pokemon. And I, my favourite part about him is what you said, the tool. The mm. tool shell is amazing. That is that that is one thing that I will happily agree to have him higher on the list for that. Uh-huh. But overall, I think he's compared to the rest of his competition. Also, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The thing compared is, like the, the next one for me, the next people I'm coming after is probably Froki, <sighs> Piplup, or Mudkip. Like they're like following on from Oshawa, like in the. I'm on those four, and like they're my next four in my mind. I can, yeah, I can. Do you know, I don't know what order yet, but, but I was about to say that order definitely not. No, 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 they're just the ones I'm looking at. I think they're my next four. And see, I love Greninja. I love him so much. I'd be like, but this is about the start. You've seen me get gassed pulling a radiant Greninja and losing my, you know, losing my mind. You know, I love Greninja, but like Froki for me, favorite water star is for me. The no, well, no, it's Froki. Fav- not my favorite all time. But more my favourite final evolution. Oh, evil time. Okay, yeah, okay. I thought you meant Froki. But yeah. if we would talk solely on Star or saying that for alligators. Because I think Quaxley's better than Froki. Not design wise for me. I think, don't get me wrong, he's a dog and he does look Pokemon ish. That might be the recency bias of him, like the excitement of him coming out as well. And to be fair, the yeah. first time I saw Quaxley, I was like, I, I don't like him at all. I thought, who's going to pick a Quaxley? But do you know the more I look at him, yeah, I can agree with that. I'm kind of thinking like, you know, starts what? to grow a little. Do you know bit. when you're walking around the park and you're just looking at a duck and you just and it makes you think of the Quaxley and you're like, damn, a Quaxley. Like, I don't know, you're just sneaking into my mind. I do kind of like him. See, the thing with me and Froakie as well, I like the anime Froakie. Yeah. The, the fact that he's just this cool little badass. And he's a little frog. Because he's a badass from Froakie. He's not just a badass when he gets the Greninja. And I like when the, the animal makes a lot of sense with the type. I mean, I know they usually do. Yeah. And the design, you can tell it's a frog. Mm-hmm. It's a blue frog, though. Mm-hmm. You only get them out in the rainforest. Mm-hmm. It is a cool one. It is a cool one. But, like, okay, we, we've been chatting a lot now and haven't actually yes. placed anyone. Yes, right. So, so, next for you. I think personally, Quaxley, actually. After, so, we've got you think Poplio Sobble. I think we should put Quaxley. Because we don't know too much more about him, but on design. We don't know what moves he might use or how effective he may be. I like his inspiration more than some of the other ones because, for example, yeah. do you know Piplup's inspiration? Ain't it? Ain't it? Each of the Gen Four had something to do of with Chinese a leader. Legend. I thought they were to do with the leader. So you had Infernape was um, Caesar and Polion oh, was Napoleon. Yeah, it was to do and with that Tor-Terra as well. Torterra was. A but they were they, they all were in their names. But in their uh, designs, they were all based off a different Chinese legend. Like one was an uh-huh. ancient monkey, oh, one was the, the world turtle. Yeah. Uh, so they're all based, and uh, and then Poseidon because of the uh, the trident. trident. So they're all based off ancient legends as well. Yeah, yeah. So like their final ones are all based off sick things. But like, do you know when they're that's a penguin. That's a penguin. Oh, and right. At the same time, uh, for a military soldier. So he has that. the inspiration. And in the anime, Pivotal is kind of annoying. It's, Oh, I, I funny, funny, funny sometimes. As hell. But there are certain times where I do sit there and just go. I think Pip Up's a great one for the movie because like you only have to deal with it for like an hour. Yeah. But like if you're in that anime and you're watching it like consistently every episode, you're like, right, Pip Up. But I'll like be honest that. as well. If we're gonna bring the anime into that point, the Diamond and Pearl anime had so many good characters. Yeah. Like Krogon, yeah, Krogon, because of Pokemon. <laughs> and that anime was amazing. He was sick. I love Krogon. So. But but but. We still haven't decided. Pip, pip, pip. So, so yeah. you're saying Quaxley? I could. I could, I could put base. Piplup there based on design overall. I would be fine to put Piplup. This I low. could put Piplup that low based on design overall. Because I, I think overall he doesn't. He doesn't been given the most. And as a battle, he's not the best. No. As, no. as a when you choose one, it's just got a pound, a yeah. growl. I think. Well, and yeah, he gets. Peck. Oh yeah, get. 
but in Gen 4 it's not too useful towards the beginning. No, it's not. It's raw. Kind of, but you get grass afterwards. So yeah. And it's so still decent. You've got but these anyways, bandages. But anyways, confirming it right now, Pip looks next. Uh, and then are you saying Quaxley? I, I, again, like we did with Foy Coco, we put him in the middle. Mm-hmm. So, because mm-hmm. we can't really gauge him too much. It'll be interesting to see like how their final evolutions will come out. Because yeah. Because that could affect opinions. But that, no, no, another video, another video. So Quaxley next. So it's so far it's uh, Poplio, Sobble, Piplup, Quaxley. I will agree to put Ashua next. Because uh, I think out of the ones... I like Oshawa more than Froki. So who do we have left? We have Oshawa, Froki, Totodile. And Squirtle. And Squirtle. The top two are obvious. And Mudkip. So we, is, but we need to decide which of these isn't a top three and you see in my mind I can't I, I really struggle to leave Oshawa out of my from three but I do think Froki is Mudkip how about we agree? have we got rid of Mudkip no we haven't but I will I will happily agree to say because I can't get Froki out of my top three either so how about we agree to compromise and we make our top three so you want to make, make our top three Mudkip. separately we'll yeah. do, no we'll do our top three together Squirrel, Mudkip and Totodile and we'll, we'll kind of give an honourable mention each way for uh, Froakie. For the we'll have them one. drawing fourth. Yeah. And we'll have everyone else uh, instead of eight, and we have two drawing fourth. Yeah. Like that. That's how we'll do it. Yeah. We had a draws. We had a draw winner, so that's better than. Yeah. That. At least this time, there's not a draw winner. Yeah. No, that's fair. I think. I think that's fair. But those three are probably a fair front three. Fair. I mean, I don't think Mudkip would be as liked. It wasn't. I think the meme. Yeah. The I could meme. easily put Mudkip third. I think. I uh, yeah, I can put I'm happy to put Mudkip mud, first. And I used a mud kit. The other two in my opinion are definitely I said it quite early on, I probably in my opinion the top two. Yeah, this is where it gets tra- challenging, doesn't it? I'm totally that I don't Squirtle was the first Pokemon I ever had. I understand it. Do you know what I mean? So like I and I loved Squirtle and I get it with Squirtle Squad bro, that was Oh no yeah, but that, that but if you're gonna talk on the anime as well, the Crow Turtle is Revered as because one of the opinion, best characters. These two are both like S tier. If we were doing it in that oh, form, they're yeah. both, and it's not like they're probably, in my opinion, the only two S tier out of waters. The reason I also like to die is because I uh, using that weird radar thingy on Sun and Moon. Um, I've never played Sun and Moon. Bro. See, there was like this weird radar thingy where you could track Pokemon in grass. I'm pretty certain I got a Totodile with Ice Fang. Oh really? So I was quite happy with that. that was I was like, that's cool. The thing is, I, I do agree Totodile is one of the best designs. Like, if it was based on personal opinion and biased, I would have Squirtle at the top. But I am happy to put Squirtle second because I do think Totodile is the best. He's got character, really? he's got great yeah. design, he's got everything you need. He was good to use in the games. He has sick artworks on cards. Like, I've never had a reason to hate Totodile. Like, he is a With Squirtle. Boy. It's a bit like the Charmander is because he's the OG. Mm-hmm. Always been around. Love that. Compare if you were going to compare designs. The reason I also prefer Totodile more is because the thing with Squirtle is it is just a turtle. It's a bit busy. Going it's back, turtle. yeah, it's just a turtle that's blue with a big tail. I think the stance doesn't help uh, Squirtle. That was cool, bro. The stance it doesn't help Squirtle like because he's just stuck there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, and in all his stunts, whenever you see him in a picture, he is usually just kind of stood there. Whereas Totodile's always doing kind of something sick as well. Like, it just seems. Yeah, like Totodile's just jumpy. He's jumpy. He bounces around in the anime. He bites everyone. And did you see how? Uh, did, you, did you see them? The uh, Detective Pikachu movie. Yeah. Do you know like how those like Totodile's in it for like three seconds? Yeah. Right, how sick yeah. do they look? Like that oh, design amazing. come to life. Look amazing. Incredible. Look incredible. Uh, in fact, just on that note, quickly as a random tangent. Mm-hmm. At first, I didn't like the Detective Pikachu's designs at first because it was so weird to see them realistic. I really liked it. But I saw it in cinema and I really loved Did it. Did you see that they're, they're, they're planning to do a live action series on Netflix? I'm more than happy to watch that. Bro, I would definitely watch Especially that. If Comment follow, if you would watch that, I would watch that. <laughs> Especially if they follow with that design from the uh-huh. live movie, if they called the. Yeah, 100%, bro. 100%. Uh, but that's our team is done, isn't it? Yeah. So what was the order? It was uh, Poplio, Poplio Sobble. Sobble. Uh, then it was was it Piplup next? Yeah. Piplup, Piplup. Quaxley, joint it was Joint Fourth was Froakie Froakie and Oshawa. Oshawa. Then it was Mudkip, Squirtle, Totodile. Yes. Let us know if you agreed with that tier list guys. If there's anything you would change or do differently, 
but you know, I think we did a pretty good job. I think I think that's agreeable. I don't think you could be too mad at us for what we've done there. I think that's agreeable. Uh, make sure you like this video and click subscribe if you want to see more videos with me and with Chandler doing this kind of thing. Uh, and we're gonna need those 20 likes before I do the grass video. Come on, make it happen, guys. Like and subscribe. Elite Snow's coming back soon. <laughs>